Hey guys, my name is Austin and I'm the webmaster of awfulmedia.com. To introduce myself as well as Awful Media to the world of YouTube, I thought we would start off with a tutorial series based on what I do. And what I do is web design and development. Now I want to start with the very basics. So when you strip what I do down, it comes all the way down to HTML. So we're going to learn what HTML is, how it works, and how we can use it. We're going to take that knowledge and apply it to building our very own website. Once we get that finished, we're going to then use CSS or Cascading Style Sheet to stylize the website, to arrange uh, elements, to personalize it, to professionalize it, make it more presentable. We're then going to take our website and upload it to a live server for the world to see. We're going to do all this from start to finish using industry standards in CSS and HTML. All right, so let's start off with what HTML is. We are inside a Notepad document. It is uh, Notepad++. It's a free download. You can check it out. Just Google Notepad++. Okay, right now we have a, a sentence, a simple sentence inside the document. Now, I want that sentence to be the title for a paragraph on our web page. My name is Austin. It's going to lead in. Uh, let's see. This is a paragraph. It's going to lead in. I guess I could capitalize that. And that's what's going to happen. It said, my name is Austin, and this is a paragraph. So my name is Austin is going to be a title. How do we make that a title? We simply have to tag that line and tell the browser, hey, this line is a heading. Read it as such. So how do we do that? Well, we go to the beginning of the line and open up the tag. And these two brackets right here is what encases the opening tag. Inside those, we will simply put H for heading, and then we'll define which heading we're going to be using. And we're going to be using the number one heading, the largest heading, the first heading. Now with that, everything on that page is going to be a heading, because we've not decided where the heading will stop. So we have to do that now. We want this whole sentence to be the heading, but nothing before or nothing after. So we go to the end of that sentence, and we use the same two brackets, except now when we type H1 there, we have a slash before it, and that says, okay, H1 started here, so now we're going to end the H1 here with a slash. Pretty much all HTML uh, tags end the same way as that. All right, now, so that we have our heading line tagged out, we then want to go to this paragraph here. Well, this would be a paragraph, but it's a sentence. But imagine this is a paragraph. And we want to define that as a paragraph so the browser understands that that is a paragraph. And how do we do that? It, it's just as simple as before, even simpler really. You open up the, the tag, and then you put a P in there. And that stands for paragraph. That means everything after that is a paragraph until we end it. And we're going to end it at the end of the paragraph. And now we end it the exact same way we ended the heading. Like I said, pretty much every... Oops, Pretty much every tag in HTML ends the same way. So we're going to go ahead and end it just like that. And that says, hey, this is a paragraph is a paragraph. And the browser takes that and renders it as a paragraph. And by default, all that's different about a paragraph like that and not having the tags around it is that it adds some margin or just you know, space around the paragraph to kind of offset it. But of course, you can change all that. We'll, we'll get into that down the road for now. All right, so now that we have it set up with our heading tag and our paragraph tag, why don't we go ahead and check it out and see how it's going to look in a browser. And to do that, we have to save it as an HTML document. So we'll go File, Save As, and on our desktop here, we're going to name it index.html. You can name it whatever you want to as long as you have the .html extension. That way the browser knows that that is a, a web document, that it contains HTML. We're going to click Save. And grab this and bring it over here. And here's index.html. So let's go ahead and double click on that and open it up. You notice it opens up in Google Chrome. It's uh, got everything that we defined here. It's got my name is Austin as a heading tag, and this is a paragraph as a paragraph simple as that we now have a web page all right back in our notepad here we're going to go over a few more tags that are always used in HTML we're just going to touch on them very briefly here but we'll go over them in more depth 
in the near future. So we're going to start off with creating a link. How do you create a link? Well, first of all, you got to start off with an anchor tag. This A, simple as that. And then inside the anchor tag, you're going to define what you want your link to say. Like what you want, what text you want to link somewhere. I want to make mine awful media. So I want awful media to go somewhere when I click on it. So we're going to come over here and click right next to the A there. Hit space. We're going to type href. That stands for like hypertext reference or something. We're going to use that to tell the browser where to go whenever somebody clicks on awful media. So within the quotes there, we're going to say to uh, we're going to direct the browser to the URL. So we're going to type HTTP colon slash slash www.awfulmedia.com. So now awful media, this text here, is going to link to awfulmedia.com. I'm going to hit Control S to quick save. And as you see now, we have the awful media link there. And when I click on this link, it will take me to awfulmedia.com, as you can see there. Simple as that. I, I, I changed this right here to link, control, save, go back to our desktop, open up that. We have this is a paragraph, and link, it says link, but it still links to the same location. I click on that, it'll still take me to awfulmedia.com. All right, the next one I want to touch on is div. Div stands for divider, and all it does is simply divides content among other content. Nothing more to be said about that right now. We'll go into that in a lot more detail in the future. We'll be using that a lot. Then you have span, which is pretty much the same thing as div, except span remains in line with text and content. Once again, I'll touch that more in the future when we use that quite a bit. A very important one is BR. Now when you're typing in a notepad like this and you're writing up an HTML document, and I'm going to type, this is a paragraph here, and I want to go down a line. I hit enter, continue typing. Well the browser doesn't read that. So we have to tell it using this tag that, hey, the line breaks here, go down the next line. And now the browser will take that and go down the next line. So control save this. And bring up index.html here. You see, and line break. So that, that works exactly how we wanted that to work. If we remove this line break, hit control, uh, remove it, hit control S to save, come back to our browser, hit F5 to refresh, to see they keep, they, they stay in line because we don't have a line break there. That enter does not work for the browser. It does not understand that. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. The next video, we're going to go over actually setting up the uh, the head, setting up the body, setting up the content areas, the header, the footer, the, the main content, the sidebar, get all of that set up and ready to be filled in with content. We want to try to touch on all that at least in the next video. If not, we'll get it in the next video. So thank you for checking out our very first video. And